Father, we thank you. We thank you for this time together. Father, we're going to participate in communion to remember your son and what was purchased for us through his blood, through the breaking of his body. So, Father, we thank you for it. So now, in Jesus' name, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we consecrate these things to you. We recognize what they represent, and we recognize that this is referred to as the holy meal, and we believe it because of the cost that Jesus paid for it. So in Jesus' name, we thank you for what you're going to produce out of this participation in communion in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now we know the best teaching that we have in this is in the area of, uh, is in uh, what Paul wrote and when he said that uh, how Jesus, the night he was betrayed, he took the bread, he broke it, said, take, eat. This is my body was broken for you. And then after they had ate, he took the juice, he held it up and said, this is my blood, which is shed for the remission of sins for many. And he said, drink all of it. And so they took the bread and the juice. We, we recognize that the juice represents the blood and that the bread represents his body. The blood, the, the juice representing his blood is for the forgiveness of our sins and remission of our sins and the broken bread was to represent his body which was broken at the whipping post where he where it was by his stripes that we were healed so as you participate in these then recognize when you eat the bread recognize I receive my healing right now in Jesus name and when you drink the juice recognize that there is nothing between you and God his blood has removed these things and that you are one with him and you can participate with him so we just recognize that eat it worthily that's what it means to know the purpose to know what it's doing and to know why you do it so uh, you know honestly generally these uh, this part of the service is often very somber and very quiet and and reverent and that's that's fine and good but also remember this is a joyous occasion this is a good thing. This is our freedom. It represents our freedom. You know, some people burn mortgages and that kind of stuff whenever they have their they have a, a mortgage burning, um, you know, celebration. And that, that's kind of what this is. This should also be a celebration that we know that we are free. Sin has no bondage on us. That we are free from sickness and disease. Sickness and disease has no right to remain in our bodies. So just remember these things participate and set a time say you know when I eat this that's my point of God I'm healed now in Jesus name with that that juice this represents my my sins are forgiven and I say right now I recognize I am clean before God and if you do that you will be walking in his will and you watch that will manifest in your life so we just we appreciate you participating with us take the bread and hold it up Father we thank you Father we know the high price that your son paid so that we can participate in this meal we thank you Father that it was his body that was whipped and broken for us so that by his stripes we are healed so Father we receive that now and we say in Jesus name by his stripes I am healed in Jesus name go ahead and eat we recognize the juice that represents his blood and we thank you father that that blood covers every sin it goes as deep as sin itself goes and we thank you that it is for every person and that anyone can choose to come under that blood we thank you for it we recognize that this blood broke the bondage that we had to sin that we are free through the blood of Jesus. Cleansed through the blood of Jesus. So be it. Go ahead and drink. Usually, if a person is having a hard time receiving an answer to prayer, usually the problem 
It's one of two areas. You don't know the promise of God about that. Or there is something in your own conscience that condemns you, that keeps you from asking in faith, trusting that God will give it to you. When you participate in communion, both with the bread and the juice, but especially the juice, representing that blood, that's when you recognize that you are clean before God. That's the best time to pray that prayer that you've been having a hard time getting an answer to. Because you know right now there is nothing between you and God that would stop Him from answering that prayer. So if you have a prayer that you've been praying, now's the time to pray it again and to receive the answer and to know that it's done. Amen? So let's just take just a minute and just, just you can say it out loud, you can say it under your breath, however you want to do it. But Father, we thank you that not one prayer goes unnoticed. That we know that you hear our prayers and we know that if, we, that if you hear us, we know that we have what we ask. So Father, I thank you for answering the prayers of your people. I thank you that it's done. That it's established. That you've given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness. And we thank you, Father, that these answers to prayer will be made manifest quickly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.